Yeah. He really wanted to make it out here, but he just one, was not able go. to. Yeah. So here we go. We are on. This is uh, Combat Arena, right? No, this is Wave Dash. Wave Dash Arena. That's what it is. Yes. This is Icon's Combat Arena. That's what I'm thinking. All right, here we go. So up throw into up air. There's Combat Lab, but that's a little different. Yeah. Good stuff on that down air. Very good by Boring Man, who's doing an awesome job so far. But Jokomo trying to answer back. Ooh, awesome. A good re-grab on the DI mix-up. Covers the stage. All right. He wanted to get something off the platform. Wait, so my, oh, my God. Oh, he was going for the spike. That so does have close. a spike on the second hitbox. Right it's crazy because Boring Man had such a lead. He had such an advantage, and Jokomo just blowing him up after that. Yep. Uh, I mean, Wei Sean is phenomenal at corner pressure, and that's all we saw. Yeah. Just corner pressure, corner pressure. Now, this combo. And then does an aerial offstage. Yeah, that's Wei Sean. We saw it before, we'll see it again. I'm sure it'll happen one more time before this set is over. I've never seen this Wei Sean skin. Uh, Pretty good. I like it. It's like a pastel. <laughs> it's like Easter. Yep. There's the up throw. <laughs> nice. He tried to get him on the read, but unfortunately, Jokomo. Teching in. It's, it's got, got, a lot it's of got like an here. Aquaman vibe to it. Yeah. As him off goes for the forward air, but good stuff by Boring Man. Recovering high to avoid it. Ooh, I Oof. think he was looking for a dare off stage. Was not finding the positioning for it. Yeah. Up tilt into the down air. Unteckable. Gets the down strike. A lot of damage, but not quite enough to knock him too far off. All right, back air. Knocks him off stage. Ooh, oh, beautiful. Far back air. And that's not easy to do. It's very easy to just kind of get hit by the up when you're going for something like that. But as players get better, I think Wei Shots are going to be in a lot of trouble in terms of, you know, bodying him off stage like that. A lot of the metagame is very underdeveloped. We're seeing a lot of, like, character versus character right now. Yeah. Um, but the, like, the minute neutral exchanges aren't quite there yet. Right. See the jab, nothing happening out of it. Ooh, just dashes back, just looking for something. Oof. Right. Fourth Ops strike? No. no. See these guys dancing around. Next hit might be enough to, like, take the other guy off. That's the thing, is, like, with how explosive. <laughs> and you're saying, as a shot, he's at 26%. Well, yeah, but, but we've seen how explosive yeah. Jokomo was. the down air, and that's the untackable. That was so smart. Ops for a little bit more percent. Now he's definitely at kill percent. Yeah, 125% trying to throw out these forward airs. Trying to make something happen. Boring man is just a little bit off. Trying for the run up up strike, but it's not going to happen. Good stuff on him, though. Uh, shielding both parts of the nair. He's trying, just trying to get over away. Sean is not able to get quite far enough. Oh, no. It's the nair again. This is bad. Oh, but he barely slides onto the platform. Still in a very bad position. Gets hit by the down tilt. And, and the double done. chop. Yeah, that'll do it. That fourth Player strike such a wins. potent move. It's not something that you want to spam at top level no. play. It definitely works at low to mid level, but oh, yeah, it's low to so mid level, powerful. You just see Weishan's walk across the stage with it. Yeah. But at high level play, you've got to pick your spots. But when you get it, oh, man, it's brutal. This boring man going to have his choice of counter pick on this one. Jokomo smiling. He's happy about that. I mean, that was that he was very it nice. From the jaws of defeat. Yeah, for that a was little cute. Bit. That's just Three, how explosive Wei Shan can be. One, can just blow go. someone up very quickly. Oh, geez, calls that dash dance out. Kind of surprised by this stage choice. Like we were talking about before, Wei Shan just definitely proven to be very uh, powerful on this stage when played correctly. Yeah, unless you've got some platform shenanigans of your own, it's dangerous. Yeah. Um, that being said, uh, oh my if God, he's not able to go to Malu Malu, then yeah, this would be the next pick. Look at this, just keeping him on the ledge forever. Like we were talking about well, before. Gets soft hit, not what he was looking for. Like we were talking about before, it really, Wei Shan doesn't really have anything in terms of off stage, just like super pressure or to keep you off, but he right. doesn't let you back on. That's right. the difference. The very simple difference, but it's there. Oh, yeah, oh. that'll do it. Neutral air will take that off the top, especially at that kind of percent. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a re-grab off of that. Jokomo's Dragon Tail usage has been so good. Yeah. Well, especially on this stage, it's really hard to get away from just because of that platform. He's able to use the wall jump. Smart. And another Nair on stage spaces it out. 
Beautiful. That downer pops him up. Get back throw. Yeah, he wants him off stage again. on shield. That's one of the situations. Even though he's only at 79%, if he gotten that double forward strike off stage, Shani probably would have been dead. Yeah. And one can sometimes lead into the other, so you yep. have to be very careful. Often the first strike leads into the second. Good stuff on that wall jump. Got a forward tilt coming out there. Trying to find a way to close out this stock. They have Joker was trying to use down tilt to cover off any of the bad ledge options. You saw him only do one forward strike there. He did, was not confident that the other one would hit, but that Nair should do it. Yeah, there it is. Boring Man needs to find a way to take off three stocks from Jokomo. Jokomo's sitting pretty right now. That's why when he's one of the best in the game at this character. Yeah, this, this is just going to be really tough. There we go. He's able to run in. All right, up strike. This is the really raw one, but he made it work. Hey, if it works, it works. See him dancing around here. Nice, Ooh, beautiful. That great platform regrab. Okay, this, those guys, this yeah. is kind of both miss and look confused for yeah. a second. Well, both their grab game is just so strong. Oh, yeah. Really, everybody's grab game in this game is just super powerful. The worst is like Afigalu, but they have great positioning, and if they throw you towards a totem, it's still fantastic. Yeah. Team dancing oh, around. Calls out the roll. He's looking for a down air. I know he just wants to get rid of this stock as fast as he can. No, that's not going to do it. Side no. strike. Dash attack. Up air. And that send him way off stage. Yeah, and when you get put into a position as a Shani where you have to uh, use your up special to land on stage, you are just asking for trouble. There it is. The double chop, 142. And Boring Man takes or falls another game to Jokomo, who's only one game away from advancing in bracket. The Pastel Warrior trying to take this game three. Does not want to drop, does not want Boring Man to get any sort of momentum going here. This is looking rough. Here we are on uh, Cryo Station. Cryo Station, that's what I have to like think like, nope, it's not Battlefield. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> The ones that don't have a smash alternate are way easier for me yeah, to Yeah, fight. yeah, definitely. Double down throw on that. Wow, he's just trying to force, like, I... Way's corner pressure is so good. Oh, Gets no. Spike too. Beautiful All right, recovery. That was a great wall jump. Beautiful recovery. A lot of other players would have just kind of oh, given up that stock. Oh, super deep fair wall jumps. Gets back. And that's, the, that's what we've been seeing. Uh, he's able to get these fares way deeper, or fares or back airs, because he's willing to wall jump and use his recovery that well. Yeah. And I think as the game progresses, we're going to see a lot more of that kind of thing from sure. all characters. Yeah. Forward throw back off stage. Trying to chop. Doesn't happen, though. He's able to land back on his feet. Boring okay. man sitting like very comfortably. Bad nair. Oh, she no. just eats it. <laughs> nice, oh, that good was a drift. Fantastic fade. Boring Man really showing that he's bringing this back. Looks he's a lot more comfortable on this stage than he did the right? other ones, but 92%. Uh, looking pretty rough right now. Yeah, he tried to throw out like a down strike or something like that, but he just can't contest him off stage, at least not yep. with Ashani in that uh, situation. If he goes high, he can dust shield, but Jokomo's doing a fantastic uh, job of just getting his sword right up at the ledge. It's beautiful, yeah. <laughs> so Boring Man, not out of the, you know, out of the woods just yet. Has 50% on his second stock, but he has to be very careful. As we saw before, Jokomo could just have these flashes of brilliance where he'll just completely obliterate your stock. Yep, Jokomo will go from playing patient neutral to suddenly you're in a tear to death, and he's having a lot of fun. <laughs> Catches himself off stage. It's where Wei Shang wants you. That corner pressure is so good. Okay. Dancing around. Trying to down here to call out some of these jumps, but not happening. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that'll off. do it. And this is almost the same spot that we saw last time. Yeah, basically. But last time, Jokomo was the one who came out the victor. Yeah, this is not looking good. For Jokomo, but at the same time, he seemed to do just fine before. He's at 89%, and if Wei Shan plays his cards right, he can live super long. 
Boring Man's got to find a way to take off this stock quickly. There's the fourth throw off on the side, and he can't go too deep. That's one of the things that Ashani's not good at, is going super far off for, you know, forward air pressure. But if she can get the DI set up just like All that, right, he's able to take it. Two takes wins. the game. He's on the board. Is he able to get this three-game comeback, though? It's going to take a lot to get there. And now he has to do it if he does three games on Malu Malu. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Three. I mean, two, he's killing a lot with one, forward air, uh, yes. which is good for Ashani on this stage. But this is probably going to be it's one of very the stronger tough counter picks in the game. Um, that being said, I know uh, Wonder got Mr. Mind to switch off of this uh, oh. as Ashani, and so if that starts happening, and for exactly the reasons you were saying, he started killing really early off the stage with forward air. And his oh, so combo good. ability on the platforms. That spike takes him down! Yeah, brought Super him... Super high up. He brought him all the way up with that. Was able to hit the second hit. Just perfect positioning on that. Right now, Boring Man has to fight back. Unfortunately, oh, no. he goes a little bit too low, okay, but he is able to make it back. back. And I thought we may have seen him throw himself the true 0% SD. He's doing oh, it again! No. Oh, he said he's sending himself way off stage. Yeah, he's trying to find a way to make this happen. Unfortunately, he might be forcing it a little bit too hard. Nice forward strike, but unfortunately cannot get through the neutral air. All right, gets the grab, wants to get something started. At high percent, so Shani's grab game isn't a true follow-up. You kind of rely on some DI mix-ups to get anything going. Just get the grab, can't do it. Keeps doing down air cross-ups on shield. Double punch will do it, yeah, the old one-two. One, I'll make two, it happen. Side special. Fourth throw off on the side. Has to up early, but there's the double chop. That is the risk. When you're on a stage like this, you could just get chopped even on the platform. Just yep. such a bad position to be. Just, all right, just three different jabs in a row. Uh, but then Jokomo does it of his own. Okay, shields the dragon tail. Oh, you do not want to be caught on that platform against a way. I like that platform drop up here. There is no shield special. dropping in this game, but you can do a platform drop very quickly. Yeah. See him dancing around. Another jab, just so strong from Weishan here. As Joe Kamo just well on his way. Tries to get oh, the spike, but to get very that unfortunate. Yeah, I think he can just kill with these forward airs, though. I think he's going a little bit too hard to trying to get a spike. I think forward air off on the side would be enough. Maybe just kind of unfamiliarity with the game. Boring man trying to force something that he doesn't need to. Dance around. There's the forward air off on the side, but he can't go too far just because it is a shiny. He's able to roll back on stage. There's the fourth throw, but he can't go chase him. Nice. Gets the clip. All right. He needs it to pull this out of the pocket. A zero to death. No. Oh, if he got hit I by thought, that yeah, arrow, it was going to be done. I know, 167, fourth throw, oh. might do it, and it will. So Jokomo takes it, 3-1 against Boring Man, who puts up a good fight, but unfortunately, Malu Malu is just too powerful of the stage. such a strong counter pick. Yeah, it's such a good stage for the big characters.